Hey there, adventure fans. Where do we get our gear, you ask? Everywhere. Welcome back, adventure fans, to this month of April Campfire Coffee Chat. As you can see, we are in my backyard. We actually have an actual fireplace this time around. Yep. Um, we will apologize. There's a lot of noise. I know they're doing construction in the back. We got a little borky dog over there, and it is very windy. So hopefully, we have some decent audio for you guys today. So we're gonna start off with this month's coffee pick. Uh, we have chosen this lovely stuff here. We have maple cream from Second Cup. Um, it's delicious. When I walked in the house, I could just smell it everywhere. It was great. So Second Cup is a Canadian coffee brand or coffee company. Um, so we just wanted to support all the different things that are Canadian and especially because it's maple. So, you know, propagate everything that's Canadian. Yeah, just propagating that stereotype. Yes. So let's get some coffee going. Cheers, lady. Oh, that's good. Squinty, because it's bright and squinty. It's going to go smoke. So, we are not ashamed to shop at Canadian Tire or Walmart, but we'll also go for some of the bigger name brands and drool in their store, like oh, North yeah. Face or Arcteryx. Right? Our biggest deal is to find a happy medium between cost and quality. Right? If you can't afford to go out camping, why spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on gear and not be able to afford the gas to go? Today we're going to be showcasing a fun little company that is out of the UK and is now blooming in Canada. <gasps> Spring puns! Yes. The company is called Mountain Warehouse. Mountain Warehouse has actually been really supportive of us. Um, the manager's given us a couple things to test out and try. $25 tent that we put through uh, the ringer. We will showcase that one next month. Um, also, this lovely jacket that's keeping me warm over here is also from Mountain Warehouse. What we like about them is that they're quality, yet they're still cheap and affordable. So we're not paying that hundreds and hundreds of dollars in order to afford some gear. So it's gonna get you out there faster to enjoy the outdoors. So today we would really like to showcase one of the gifts that we were given by Mountain Warehouse, which is a sleeping bag. Okay, so this is Mountain Warehouse's Summit 250 square sleeping bag. You'll have to excuse me, I got smoke in my eyeballs here. I really like this sleeping bag that it does have a square foot box. I appreciate and understand that there is a place for a mummy bag in today's hiking world, but I'm a big fan of having a little bit more room in the foot box. It provides for me a better sleeping experience, and I've occasionally had to shove a little cold pup down there, so um, it's nice to have a little bit more room to be able to put the dogs down there if need be. So this bag has a comfort rating of minus one degree Celsius, which is about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has an extreme rating of minus 17 degrees Celsius, which is about one degree Fahrenheit. I personally slept in it when we were down in the Grand Canyon. It was really cold, the wind was biting, um, and it was about minus seven, minus 10 in there uh, during the night, which is about minus 17, or sorry, about 17 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Fahrenheit in and around there. I did okay, I'm a very cold sleeper, so I just uh, made sure that I had a nice fleece liner on the inside, wearing my pajamas, toque on, I was super warm for the entire trip. So it has a couple other really cool features too. There's a baffle inside here that's like right around your neck, so you can cinch it on up just to like keep all that nice warm air in there. There's also another one all around the top part of it, so you can do it again up around your head and everything like that. Another really cool feature that it does have, there is, a little pocket here. I like to call it the snack pocket, but I highly doubt that's actually what it's for. But for me, it's for snacks. You could probably put like rings, watches, jewelry, anything that you don't really want to sleep in, it'll put in there. But there's like a little Velcro pocket, so you can put that in there, which is really nice. I'll put a link down below so you guys can go straight to the Mountain Warehouse site. I don't want to put up a price. Uh, they do go on sale quite regularly, so if you're going to shop at Mountain Warehouse, I highly recommend waiting for any one of their sales. They put a lot of stuff on sale, 40 to 50% off, and they just cycle through something else. So far, I've been absolutely and pleasantly surprised by everything that we've gotten from them. Oh, yeah. Um, ooh, that wind, though. Yeah, blow that way, wind. Blow that way. Hey, so since this is technically 
80s gear pick of the month. Um, we'll just go quickly over my gear pick of the month, which kind of goes hand in hand with that camping world. And we're going to talk about Buff. I'm a big fan of Buff's headgear. I've been wearing it for years. And I really appreciate that they got some nice new Canadian themed buffs out and a little bit of buffalo plaid because I am addicted to the buffalo plaid. Great headwear. I've used it wearing it as a toque in the past. I definitely use it wearing it up over my face yep. just to keep my face warm when I'm walking the dogs in the winter. I've also used it as a head towel like to for wet hair when I was out one time. Great product. I highly recommend it. Great product. I highly recommend it. <laughs> I also have a couple other fun ones. Uh, not necessarily the buff brand. But this one is uh, the Canada Parks theme. So it does say Canada Parks. It's got a little Canada Park beaver on it. I do love that little beaver. I hope they never change that logo. It would yeah. make me very sad. And this is actually a nice, really thick one that I got from Lululemon of all places. Yeah. And I, I tend to use this one a little bit more when we're hitting that minus 30 degrees outside and it's really cold and I gotta walk the dogs. It blocks all the cold air from getting down it's into your jacket, jacket too and then it just pulls up here so it just keeps everything nice and warm. So that's about it for this here campfire coffee chat. We want to try and keep these nice and short and sweet so that they're in a little bit more like digestible chunks. Yes. Since we're talking about <laughs> coffee, digestible, right? <laughs> Just bad puns all the oh time. I would say definitely like our channel, subscribe please. We're really trying to reach that point where you get a couple little bit more of the perks back from YouTube. Comment down below anything that you would like us to go over, discuss in a future Campfire Coffee chat. Yep. Um, we love to talk to our, our viewers. Make sure you go and check out April's video where we stay at Yurts in Pigeon Lake. Cheers to you, our viewer. Thank you so much for all your support. And until next time, go outside, find your adventure.